this uh, technology video. So I have here my old uh, Huawei router. So Wi-Fi Huawei router. So the model is uh, E315S-9368. This uh, router was busted by a and other stores last year so gadgets just like this I just uh, put them in storage and I mean in a bodega or uh, for purposes of that someday I'll make use of uh, other parts so this time around what I'll be uh, utilizing is the two antenna stick so in my previous video, I use my one of my antenna stick of this uh, Globe prepaid Wi-Fi antenna stick. This is a Globe prepaid Wi-Fi antenna stick as my outdoor antenna. So this time around, I will reconnect it to the router directly to the router and uh, use these uh, two antenna sticks of the Huawei router as my outdoor antennas. Okay. So, uh, sometimes uh, you just put it, this in the garbage, but uh, just like this uh, one of my neighbors, he throws it in the garbage. So I said, uh, uh, just give it to me and uh, I will utilize them. So I use this as my side monitor for, 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 for purposes of a multi display. Okay? This is my side monitor, so this is a monitor. So that is in my previous video. I can also add the third monitor using my USB uh, to uh, VGA or USB to HDMI adapter, which is uh, also in my previous video. Okay. also use this as my outdoor antenna the antenna of the the ideal antenna of the TV so it's in my previous video so in the meantime I'll remove this okay so this is the uh, extension cable of the uh, Wi-Fi extension cable of the outdoor antenna which is the one stick of my prepaid Wi-Fi antenna stick so this antenna I used that previously as my outdoor antenna okay so I'll remove the TV antenna as my outdoor antenna and uh, I have ordered online I'm waiting to receive it the another extension cable for me to connect it there so that I can make use of these two antenna sticks as my outdoor antenna Okay, so wait a bit time and we'll wait for that. So, 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 okay, so this is fixed. Okay. So, wait a time while waiting for. Uh, my uh, extension cable, Wi-Fi extension cable, which I order online uh, while waiting for its delivery. So 
So I will attach this uh, Pasted the Huawei router, so I will attach it here at the PVC pipe. The antenna is very light, so I can uh, just have in a electrical tape on this. Guys, I'm unboxing my uh, order online. So these are additional uh, Wi-Fi extension cable. And uh, two 
Those left splitters. So this is uh, 15 meters. Uh, I will use this as what I mentioned in my earlier video and my earlier recordings. I will use this as a cable uh, using this uh, busted Wi-Fi uh, my, uh, the stick, the antenna stick of my busted Wi-Fi so the antenna stick is still good so I have to use this as my outdoor antenna ok, so it's fitted the outdoor is good I have additional two splitters. <laughs> okay, let's proceed. So, this is a global home profit Wi Fi which uh, we were discussing uh, previously. So I have one splitter and another splitter and uh, I plan to connect all the outdoor antennas, the TV antenna which I converted to the outdoor Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, by the way, I will try my best to speak not only in English but also in Tagalog or uh, Tagalog English. Okay? So, So do not understand the dialogue. Uh, I, I apologize for that. But, uh, uh, my fellow fellow uh, Filipinos, uh, uh, I will go down to the level of those who are not fan of uh, or not well versed in understanding English. Although my English is just very simple, I think a elementary graduate or a high school graduate can understand it. Okay, so I connect another connector, so I have two connectors this time, so dalawa connector na, okay, a dalawa uh, connector splitter, okay, so that I can connect the additional cable, the Wi-Fi extension cable, at the same time, the uh, antenna stick, two antenna sticks of the uh, busted Wi-Fi, so I have two Globe antennas, antenna sticks, which is uh, original in this uh, modem. Okay. And two uh, antenna stick of uh, I busted the Huawei router. So one, we put one at the back facing that uh, area there at a uh, SM mall where there is a globe uh, south side or cell tower and one, this one, I will put in front of our house facing the other side also or the front side of our house so that when there are uh, uh, globe cell sites also there it can also pick up signals I want to open line this, but I have the apprehension that the software being uh, used uh, will be vulnerable for hacking. Uh, I am, I have that apprehension, so medyo takot ako na baka vulnerable ako sa hacking. Kung gagamitin ko yung mga firmware, uh, those uh, software or applications which are being used to edit the firmware, so medyo kabado ako. We don't want uh, our system or uh, network to be uh, vulnerable to uh, uh, hacking. So, unless uh, I have, uh, I can find a trusted uh, source, which is uh, very uh, reliable uh, for uh, network security. Okay, so I will use this in the front. So, 
I will attach it here the new cable so the previous cable I have is 15 meters this time around uh, the distance from this router from our living room where this computer is uh, and the, the router is uh, being uh, placed or situated it's a little bit uh, shorter compared to that at the rough deck so I will just uh, use I order 15 meters only instead of 20 meters so I just hope that this will be sufficient okay so I'll attach the Wawi antenna stick so just be very careful, very careful not to overfit it don't be too hard on it so we need to have some tender touch in it uh, in order not to uh, bust the connections especially the wires the, uh, the connection of the wires to the uh, connector okay so i will have to place that outside in a pvc pipe or in a ga pipe if you want it to be more durable but the pvc, PVC pipe will do uh, this is just very light PVC pipe can carry it without so much worry. So later I will just have to show in the video outside uh, after this, uh, after I have uh, directed this to the post outside. perimeter wall post outside so, so in here I have to put this at the back so I hope you can see it okay. I want to utilize all antennas the two packet Wi-Fi uh, uh, antenna stick I mean the two uh, I'm gonna stick the Huawei router, the TV antenna which I had uh, shown you previously. So this is it. So we just have to be very careful because uh, these splitter connectors are too small compared to this. Uh, the connector adapter of the TV antenna so it's just quite, this is quite heavy so, just be careful not to squeeze it too hard I mean to uh, stretch it too hard because uh, I think with the small uh, connectors that we have here You stretch it too hard. Okay, so this antenna, Huawei, the Huawei antenna stick of the Mustard Huawei router. So I will put this outside. Then we have the TV antenna. I will also connect the antenna previously. Design. So we have now two outdoor antenna sticks. As an outdoor antenna, an additional antenna, TV antenna converted to outdoor Wi Fi antenna. So, why? Why I'm uh, connecting all of this? Because uh, I believe that, uh, especially that this uh, TV antenna is so tall, this is I think 20 feet. So, I believe that uh, when the elevation of the uh, signals during the rainy and typhoon seasons when it's cloudy, there, there are thunderstorms and lightnings. Uh, the signals are in different levels of the atmosphere. So, what 
whatever level it is in the atmosphere, uh, we just hope that uh, one of the antennas can pick up the signal so that it can maintain a uh, higher signal strength. So, mas maraming antenna, mas marami tayong source of signals. So, there are, um, there are different source of signals, the lower ones and the higher ones. So, the wavelength is uh, very important also. What level of atmosphere is that? I'll check. I'll check. Uh, I think I have it in my file. file that I have posted at uh, Facebook before uh, a few days ago so I just tried to locate it I forgot the level of the atmosphere where the, the wavelength is uh, the frequency is traveling power and the LAN cable balance because there are two connectors here and there is uh, one connector there but if I have a one additional connector I can have it balanced I will just put two connectors here
try to power it on. time around there are two indoor antenna sticks using the original uh, antenna stick of this uh, at home prepaid Wi-Fi router so I'll reboot it later on hey in the meantime I have to put this uh, antenna stick outside
Labas ko lang itong antena. Extension cable, BT. I'm here at the roof deck. Nandito ako sa bubong ng aking wooden hut or bahay kubo. So, this is the roof deck. So, I'm here. The roof. And this is my the PVC pipe where I attach the uh, antenna stick of that uh, globe of that uh, Wawi busted Wawi router. So I just have to focus it. Okay. So this is in the front of our house. So as you can see, there. So if there are areas in that uh, northern uh, northern side, there is a cell tower of people there. So when I change my uh, router and buy a buy one which is more of the higher uh, uh, capabilities so I can use also sim card or dito there so there is a cell, cell tower there just very near maybe less than uh, around, less than 300 meters from our place okay so in that area there so it's also a 
globe cell site from uh, GMA of General Mariano Alvarez area. So, nandun sa GMA, may cell site din doon. Most probably in that area there, there is also a globe cell site which is uh, too far already. So, this side, uh, I will utilize this uh, front of the house also as one of the source of the signals. Okay. So, you can see. So, the other antenna stick, it's uh, I make outdoor, the antenna stick of the uh, Huawei, busted Huawei router. So, that is facing south. Uh, that can uh, pick up uh, signals from area, southern area, which is uh, near SM Das Marinas, there at Palapala. So, mayroong seal site dyan sa SM Palapala, sa harap. So, it can pick up signal from there. So, another antenna is I make, uh, is the idle antenna of my homemade antenna of my uh, uh, TV which I'm no longer using so that is an additional antenna I have uh, this is a higher more elevated I think that is uh, more than 20 feet and high I think that's more than 20 feet okay as you can see Okay guys, I will now proceed with the speed test. So, I have my, uh, in my personal number, uh, Globe SIM. Meron uh, I have my uh, Go Only 20. So, we will try Go Only 20 if uh, the speed is also good. Okay? So, I have to remove my SIM from my tablet. And uh, use it in my low prepaid Wi Fi router. So, we have a go only 20. Uh, data is 50 MB only. speed using go only 20 with 50 uh, MB data
So with a lot of wires, so it looks like an octopus already. But uh, we'll just have to try this uh, economical way of having an antenna. I think uh, this third video about uh, Canamical Wi-Fi antenna uh, will conclude my uh, videos about uh, economical Wi-Fi antenna. It's four bars, so we'll try the speed test at four bars. So, tingnan natin. The signal really fluctuates. So, as what I've said earlier, sometimes it is the location of the clouds. This is a barrier also to. This is a barrier also from. Uh, CPU signal. So the clouds really have this uh, have this uh, influence in uh, the wavelength the transmission of the wavelength from the cell sites. Time around it's five bars. So LDT fiber first and enable the uh, low at home profile profile Wi-Fi. So I'm not showing it uh, in my screen. I know that you can do that. Just disable the fiber because it's happened only that I have the connections. Uh, Ethernet 14, which is my LDT Wi-Fi, my LDT fiber, and I have Ethernet 13, which is uh, the, key, the connection from the low at home. Prepared Wi Fi. So I am at the global from prepared Wi Fi now. So I'll open my browser. I will minimize first my uh, camera.
check the IP of the configuration. and too slow to use my personal SIM the SIM that is not uh, really allocated for this uh, uh, clone at home prepaid Wi-Fi so that's my personal SIM so I'll try again Proceed with the speed test. So, kung titignan natin, kung yung go only uh, 20 ay mabilis pa. It seems that uh, go only 20 is slow. So, we cannot uh, do a speed test with this. It's five bars, but the uh, internet connection is uh, slow using the Go AD20, which is uh, uh, a call and text to Blow TM and uh, 50 MB data. So it does not work. It's too slow. It is for the mobile phone only. I think not for the robot home prepared Wi-Fi. So I think I have to uh, I have to uh, remove the SIM and uh, use again the SIM that uh, is really uh, located for this uh, low at home prepared Wi-Fi. So the SIM so, the SIM is really for this low at home prepared Wi-Fi. So I'm using my uh, personal SIM at my tablet and uh, it's, it is too slow. So, go only 20 is too slow for uh, Globe at home prepaid Wi-Fi. So, I think uh, go serve for all 50 to 99. I think that is the load really that is needed for a fast uh, internet uh, uh, browsing, for fast data. So, 50 to 99 and even higher. Okay? So, it will not work. Go oh, only 20 will not work. So I just have to close this. And uh, I'll remove first the SIM. I will do the speed test later after I loaded the uh, 50 server for all 50 or 99 pesos. Loaded 
and the uh, Usar 50 and uh, MWD 50 pesos. Uh, my global prepaid SIM and uh, I have registered to Usar 50. So we'll try our speed test, but uh, first we will disable the fiber connection. So we'll minimize first this. While waiting for the speed test, as you can see, we are uh, the four bars, so it's, it is fluctuating from uh, 45 bars. So, right now it's four bars. Download speed is at eight point eighteen Mbps, and uh, our upload speed speed is. Uh, So I can't have a uh, five bars uh, signal strength. So the upload speed is 5.58 as you can see. So I think that concludes my uh, video on uh, economical uh, uh, outdoor Wi-Fi antenna. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I think the next time around, uh, 
the technology video that I'll be making will be uh, I'll minimize the web uh, the browser first. Okay. Next time I think that the, the technology video that uh, I'll be making is about uh, the audio system. Uh, how to interface the uh, amplifier to the uh, uh, computer, to the CPU, uh, and uh, using also those uh, uh, speakers that I have uh, uh, collected. Those uh, speakers that uh, I, mean, I have collected from the uh, summer given by neighbors. There are custom equipments. Uh, some also I have collected from my previous uh, from my previous uh, equipments. Uh, just like the karaoke unit, there you can see that a black uh, uh, appliance that is karaoke unit. So that is the first. Uh, that I have interface from the CPU as my speaker so that karaoke I bought last 1995 by my friend working at the shop Philippines so uh, using the karaoke uh, unit uh, I have passed my Sakura uh, 300 watts amplifier so maybe of uh, because of uh, uh, used uh, time used also, so the electronic parts have become brittle. Even the connections, the back of the PCB uh, are no longer uh, reliable. So I retired that uh, amplifier unit, Sakura amplifier unit. Uh, if I can uh, buy another one, maybe a Xenon unit. It's quite yet. Uh, it's quite uh, uh, durable, and reliable. So I think uh, I have to buy the Xenon unit amplifier if I have a budget. So I will interf interface that to my uh, CPU, to my computer, and uh, uh, build a audio system uh, in my uh, Bahay Kobo. Okay. So that alone. Uh, I'm doing that alone, uh, that uh, uh, interfacing of uh, amplifier and a karaoke unit from my computer. Uh, I'm doing that since 99 uh, year 2000. So in my first computer unit, I will use that uh, karaoke unit. So I interface the auxiliary uh, uh, slot or uh, uh, input at the back of the karaoke, interfacing my uh, interface that to my uh, uh, audio, uh, uh, audio outlet at the back of the CPU. Okay? So, we'll see you in the next uh, video. Thank you so much for watching. So, don't forget uh, to like the video if you like it. Then, uh, subscribe and uh, share if you can. Uh, so that uh, you can share the, this uh, uh, small idea to uh, other, other uh, Thank you so much.